Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan here with a preview, stroke, first look, whatever you want to call it. But basically, this is a product that I have been eagerly anticipating for quite some time. Uh, and it's a pleasure for me to introduce you to the Gigabyte X58 Overclock. Now, I'm going to uh, bring you straight in, get the camera all set up, we'll uh, obviously get this open see what's inside the box but I know there's not a lot inside the box because this thing has been built from the ground up for overclocking by High Cookie. Now for those of you that don't know a lot about the kind of professional or really hardcore overclocking scene, High Cookie uh, works for Gigabyte but he's also one of the uh, world's leading overclockers. Uh, he's got many, many um, overclocking world records and he is well um, regarded in the overclocking community. He's one of the most gifted blokes on the planet at the moment. Now this is his baby. This is something that he has designed and built from the ground up. Um, so it's, it's actually quite a big honour to be able to even get hold of one of these. Now, I happen to know that this is the only one in the country at the moment. So again, it's a massive, massive deal for me to have it, and I've got to say a big thank you, but hopefully I'm going to do this justice over the next week or so. But there is an awful lot of work I've got to put into this review, uh, and still a few bits that I need to try and get my hands on as well. So there's an awful lot of work to get done, but I couldn't sit on it. I couldn't keep quiet. I wanted to share this with you, so you've at least got a taster. Um, and literally the, uh, the bloke come, uh, he delivered it a little while ago and I've literally just stopped what I was doing, set the lights up, uh, just changed my t-shirt quickly and uh, yeah, the other half has just come back. Um, but the, uh, yeah, I've just set up straight away so I can make a video, that's how excited I am about it. So, I'm going to bring the camera in and we'll get a, a really good look at what's inside the box. Right then guys, uh, back with the box. I hate calling them box openings but at the end of the day we are opening a box but it's more of a first look, I prefer that, a first look, preview, whatever you want to call it but lovely simple design on the front, um, it says all it needs to do really, what more do you need to know, you don't need pictures because you're buying it, but anyway if we flip it over there is a wealth of information which I do want to try and pick these bits out just to let you, to show you how special some of the parts are up on this, the parts are on this. Basically, the CPU socket can output up to 1200 watts. The input on the two 8-pin CPU power connections can take up to 1500 watts. Um, they've got what's being stated here as driver MOSFET. I haven't got a clue what that means yet. Powerful low temp single ch chokes up to 50 amps. Um, fast and durial, uh, what they're calling POS caps. Um, you've got intersil overclocking PWMs, it's saying up here, which must be these digital parts at the top. Um, quick real-time overclock PWM frequency from 600k to 800k to 1000k. Um, up on the top here, it's saying uh, it's a lot quicker and easier to uh, insulate the board, um, basically by the design and the fact that they tried to keep it quite clear and open so that you can pack your your insulation in there better. Uh, dual BIOS and you can actually compare the two BIOSes rather than having to switch between the two you can see both of them at once when you're in the BIOS. Um, down here again it's going on about insulation and basically being able to insulate the uh, PCI Express area the fact that there's uh, much bigger gaps between the PCI Expresses and if you have a look just here well I'll show you on the main board itself basically there's nothing in between the main PCI Express lanes if we move slightly further over, um, it's saying that there's uh, loads of uh, uh, fan ports, there's actually seven fan ports on the board. Um, the, uh, uh, the cooling on the board is actually designed, it can be run passively, it's big, thick and chunky as we'll see when we get inside. Now this is something very, very cool, the overclock touch. Not only can you, uh, you've got a button here to obviously turn it on and a reset button, but there's a 4 gigahertz ready button. You can just flick that and it'll overclock your system to 4 gig on the next boot. There's um, base clock up and down buttons, and if you flick the gear button, you can either change it by 1 megahertz or 0.3 uh, 
uh, megahertz uh, up or down. You've also got a button to turn the multiplier up and down. These buttons you can use when you're in the operating system, by the way. So you can get your stable, best stable boot, and then you can notch it up a bit when you're in the operating system as well for an extra boost. You've got a debug LED on, and you've also got onboard uh, voltage measurements, so you can see exactly the voltages that are going through your boards. Um, and also, I'm a bit perplexed by this, but obviously there's going to be people out there that are going to like it. You've actually got LEDs on the... Um, on the heat sinks as well to give it a bit of bling I suppose so it's not so bland but I'm going to literally with you there I'm going to get the box open I'm going to get this beast of a board out uh, in fact before I do that I'm going to tease you a little bit more and just show you the bundles because there's not a lot that comes with it you've got the um, bit so you can get your uh, multimeter basically you measure your voltages there you've got a manual driver disc, that's the back plate, that gives you a hint of what's to come on the inside, you can see how little's on that back plate, a few SATA cables, three way SLI bridge and then there's a crossfire bridge and a single SLI bridge, so that's that, now I'm going to move all of the packaging and stuff right out of the way, get everything completely out of shot and then I'm going to get the board out, because this board is an absolute work of art. I know a lot of you out there are going to be instantly going on about X58 is dead, but there's some of us that still like a good overclocking session. Now, this is absolutely sex on a stick. Uh, I've actually got a colleague, and I'd like to name drop him as well. Von Blade is so into orange and black. We thought this was going to be a more mainstream board and he was uh, creaming in his pants about being able to get his hands on one. We weren't kind of uh, ready for the fact it was so hardcore overclocking. Now what I'm going to do is straight away I'm going to show you around the back. You can see how little you've got on the um, I.O. at the back. Now uh, basically it's, where it's an overclocking board it's not that you, you don't need a massive amount of stuff around the back. This board has literally been designed from the ground up to um, give you the best scores possible from your components so stuff like extra USB buses and USB 3 and stuff like that all encroaches on your, US, on your PCI Express bus so by keeping all of that minimal up there it means that you've got a lot more bandwidth available and you know a lot less things to be going through the PCI Express um, basically to make everything faster and the fact you know what I mean they've taken stuff off that you don't necessarily need and they've given you the bare minimum so you can absolutely cram out uh, your scores. Now as you can see you've got big wide open spaces between the cards here so if you were freezing these cards you'd be able to get in there put all your insulation in lovely. There's fan ports absolutely everywhere. In fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera off and I'm going to give you a proper look round this board on the by hand. Right then. We'll start with the CPU socket area. Let's see how clear and open that is. So you can cram your insulation round. Two 8 pin um, power around the back of the board. Two fan headers there. Got a fan header in the middle there. There's another fan header there. And there. Moving up, there's another one there and there it literally is absolutely crammed now there's the PWM dip switches that I told you about and also a CMOS switch this part of uh, this heatsink underneath here and up around the top lights up so does that little bit there nice little bling touch you can see how massive this heatsink is for the north bridge and the FETs absolutely huge and then you've got uh, one two three four PCI Expresses you can do three-way SLI or four-way crossfire single PCI a lot of people will wonder why this is in here but for argument's sake if you're getting problems sometimes a PCI um, uh, I will get my words out sometimes a PCI graphics card 
can be amazing to get you out of trouble and also not being funny if you're just doing CPU benches and stuff like that a simple PCI graphics card is all you need only uh, one USB there I'm a little bit I'm not sure about the front panel audio because obviously the front panel kind of thinks that you're going to be putting it in a case um, then again it has got audio on the back anyway SATA you see you've got eight in total there they're the two SATA 6 and they're just the normal ones these SATA powers here are to put extra power into the uh, PCI Express on the board rather than using Molex you can use uh, SATA power you come here you can see these are the uh, points that you can drop your the adapters I showed you in before so that you can uh, take your voltage readings the debug is there they call this the start the engine button I think that's quite a cool little name for it but then you've got the buttons like I said 4 gig boot uh, multiplier buttons base clock buttons and this gear button actually changes it from um, 0.3 megahertz to 1 megahertz increase on the base clock so you can really take it down and do a real fine tune uh, and there's another fan header by the way I forgot to mention before now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a real slow take over the board so that you can uh, pause at any moment in time so that you can see exactly what's going on Now basically I'm going to be uh, working on this board for quite some time now to try and uh, really beast out some uh, overclocks and see if I can't uh, get anything kind of point worthy with the kit that I've got available to me at the moment. I'm going to be doing quite a wide range of stuff but literally I'm just, I'm no world class overclocker, I love to play so I'm just going to see what the best possible uh, results are that I can get But this, I, I really, really like this. Really, really like it a lot. So then, guys, you know what I'm going to be doing for a fair while now, but this is your first look at the Gigabyte X58 overclock board custom design from the ground up by High Cookie really can't wait to play with this now anyway tiny Tom Logan with a big grin on his face <laughs>